In this video we're going to show you how to solder two pieces of 50-50 RGB strip together and connect it to an RF controller. RGB stands for red, green, blue and um, basically what it means is that uh, you can do many different colors within a single diode of LED. So let's get started. For this uh, video, I'm going to use some residual strip that I have lying around. This is uh, the same RGB uh, strip. Uh, there's already two pieces in it. Uh, the RGB strip is cuttable. You can cut it every, at every uh, solder point, which is marked in the strip. So, I have my two pieces here. You're going to... Uh, uh, use your soldering wire. I like using a 60-40 mix because it's thin uh, and it melts pretty quickly. So it's ideal for this kind of uh, application. So you're going to get your soldering gun and just put enough soldering material at every solder point of the strip. You don't want to get too much that each of the connectors or leads here in the strip are touching because then that's just going to mess around with the colors and your strip might not even turn on. So you, for, if for some reason your strip is just not doing the right colors, you might want to check your connections. Uh, make sure that none of the soldering points are touching there. We're going to put some soldering material at the other end of the strip that we're going to use to connect just very little, there we go Okay. now we're going to get our wire here I'm using some spare wire that I have lying around flexible and thin wire works best uh, for this, so any wire, any electrical wire works uh, but it, you know, as long as it's flexible, that'll just work better for for on, on this end. So, uh, as you can see, this wire is color coded. Your wire doesn't have to be, but it does help when uh, soldering each end. If you use any wire that's not color coded, just make sure that each point that you solder uh, matches at, at the other end of the strip. So. Uh, I probably won't show here in the camera that well, but at the point of each strip, you can see that there is a uh, 12 plus, which is the power, green, red, and blue. Same at the other side. So, we're going to interconnect those together. I'm going to get my wire here. And I'm going to use black for power. Uh, I'll get my soldering... Uh, flux here. This is optional, but it does help in the soldering process. So I'll just dip my wire. There we go. And we're going to put Just pressing on the wire does its trick. You don't have to press that hard. Um, it'll just melt right into place. Now we do the other end. Also, um, you want to make sure that your tips, your whenever you strip the wire, aren't too long. I just want to have just a little bit of wire sticking out. That way, you know when you solder them, they're not touching at the base or anything either. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit here from this wire. Okay. Now I'm going to solder at the other end, making sure that I get the proper connection. So 12 plus or black 
to uh, black at this other end. I'm going to use this as a weight. Oops, here we go. Having steady hands helps. So, I'll check my connection, that everything is in place, that none of the uh, soldering points here are touching, okay? Now, on this strip I already have some wire at the other end that we're going to use to connect it to the RF controller. Uh, if you don't have a wire in the end, you can just use the same process to solder it, and then at the other end you're just going to get your controller. This is an RF controller, and you're going to connect them to their leads here. Uh, for this, a precision screwdriver, flat screwdriver is, um, you know, required. Um, you just want to open the leads just a little bit at each of these points. Okay. And you're going to take your strip, and since black is power, we're going to put it on the, we're going to connect it to the V plus. And then you can see that the RF controller is also labeled blue, green, red to help you in connecting the strip. So, here we go. Tighten it up. And, uh, Red to red. Green to green. Let's see. And blue. There we go. Make sure my connection is good. Hook it up to the power supply at this other end. And hopefully our strip lights up. It does light up. You know, it's flashing to all the colors right there. One last thing that we want to do is uh, check that the, the colors on the remote control are matching uh, the connection here. So, we're going to try red. And let me see if I have the right controller here. Okay, there we go. I was using a different controller. So we have red. Okay. Um, green works. Okay, and you can see that the at the other end it works too. Um, blue. And as long as your red, green, blue work, every other color will work. So we have our white, our orange, yellow, cyan, and purple. And that's how you... Uh, solder two pieces of RGB strip together. Your wire, of course, can be any length that you required it to be um, for any application that you have.